And today we're taking a look at a box. <laughs> uh, this package comes from my good friend ODC, that's me. Thank you, kind sir. Um, my birthday was in February, so it's almost a month ago, almost uh, two months ago now. We're almost to the end of March here, as I'm pointing with the scissors. Don't do that at home. Um, <laughs> so he had said early on that, uh, you know, hey, I want to send you something. And I was like, oh, I mean, you don't need to do that. And so he graciously sent this to me, but in the time... A uh, difference between him uh, saying that he was going to send something to now is when, if you've been watching his channel, he had hurt his finger pretty bad, so I think it kind of uh, slowed him down a little bit. Not that I expected it to arrive when it was when he said he was going to ship, because obviously his health is more important than a package. But thank you very much, sir, uh, for sending this to me. Um, I don't know what it is. It is extremely light, so there's no weight to it. So I thought, oh, maybe it's a figure or something like that. Um, he said it's a shape is the only clue that he gave. Uh, the shape of what? I don't know. Hopefully the shape of awesome. So we'll open this guy up here. Hopefully I just didn't slice down into the box and cut whatever it was. Always cut away from yourself like they tell you. There we go. Fun, huh? Talks amongst yourselves. Rhode Island, Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. Oh, it looks like it. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. It's a shape of. Oh, check it out! It's the superheroes, DC Comics superheroes, Robin with Karate Chop action, mint on card. Wow, so, so very cool. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, sir. That is great. Now, I have this, and I had this back when this originally came out. Uh, gee, what was the year? 1989. So shortly after the uh, 89 Batman uh, movie with Michael Keaton came out, uh, Kenner was done uh, releasing toys uh, from the Superpowers line, so Toy Biz took over the license for a brief year until Kenner took the license back over. And uh, they basically just kind of recopied the Kenner uh, Robin figure. And uh, I've, I picked this up, and I remember uh, my mom back in 89 going, you already have this. And I said, no, this is the Toy Biz one. So uh, that's really cool to have this, and it's mint on card. So this is definitely going to stay mint on card. Uh, thank you so, so very much, Anthony. That Wow, amazing. Killer, killer, killer. So uh, that was my birthday haul. I don't think there's anything else in the box. Um, I was wrong. It was a figure. So uh, wow, so very cool. So because of that, I will review this guy because I do have... Uh, one out of box already review. Now I don't have the accessories anymore. I think because uh, way back when in '89, being a young lad, um, I didn't keep good track of my accessories. I may have the batarang still. The grapple, I guarantee, I lost that. So, Anthony, thank you very, very much. This is going right on my Robin wall. So, uh, thank you. So that was the uh, unboxing from ODC. That's me. Uh, uh, wow, very, very cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, up next, more videos here on Rob's Rogues. Thanks for watching. Uh, Rob? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rob's Rogues and the Batman universe. And we're continuing to celebrate 75 years of Robin here on Rob's Rogues in the month of April. And today we're taking a look at a gift that I received from my good friend, ODC, that's me. Uh, the 1989 DC Comics superheroes Robin with Karate Chop Action. Uh, <laughs> this uh, came, by the way, of us from Toy Biz. Uh, after uh, the Kenner Superpowers line was over, uh, Kenner relinquished their uh, DC uh, Comics license as they uh, didn't really think anybody was really going to want any 1989 Batman action figures. So Toy Biz bought up the license and made some figures. Now, I've, I've showed a couple of those figures on this channel recently. I think I will probably 
uh, do it again at some point. And those figures went through the roof and went like crazy. They went like gangbusters. A lot of people were picking them up, including myself. So then, since they had the licensing and they had some of the molding, they went back and started to remake some of the Superpowers figures just so they could have products out there for a while. But Toy Biz kind of got behind. They couldn't meet the demand, so Kenner ended up getting the licensing back uh, for Batman Returns. But this was, I believe, like a Wave uh, 2 series of figures that came out. Uh, wave 1 was the 89 Batman characters being Batman... Um, the Joker and Bob the Goon, which I have all three of those. And then they uh, kept making other Batmans to kind of go uh, in this uh, series as it went along. They kept updating Batman as they started uh, fine-tuning their uh, molding skills, as it were. So this is Robin. And I always like to think that this was Jason Todd, since I had the Kenner uh, Robin that was very much identical to this. Very close. I'll do a comparison here in a little bit. I thought, well, I could have a Jason Todd Robin, and I could have a Dick Grayson Robin. So this was always my stand-in uh, Jason Todd and when I was you know, playing with action, action figures back in the day. You can see the rest of the box here. Uh, the other figures that uh, came out uh, throughout various waves. Uh, it says, collect them all, each with a unique feature of its very own. We have Superman, Lex Luthor, and Wonder Woman, uh, the Penguin, and the Riddler. Mr. Freeze and Robin were the uh, last uh, wave of this figure. It says, uh, Robin's martial arts... Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Robin's mastery in martial arts is demonstrated by his powerful karate chop. Uh, push the button on Robin's back to activate a powerful karate chop. A batarang and grapple hook are also included to assist Robin in his fight against crime. And here's a little uh, write-up here. I always thought these were kind of cool. It says, uh, Robin joins Batman in the war on crime. Oh, crime? Uh, Robin joins Batman in the war on crime. Swooping down from the skies like a bird that bears his name, Robin uses acrobatics and martial arts skills to combat criminals. A master in every fighting discipline, the boy wonder couples with a well honed <laughs> athletic body and keen detective mind, his utility belt arsenal includes formidable batarang along with with Batman as a mentor and partner. They're an unbeatable team against the forces of injustice. This is all characters related to, you know, blah, 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 DC Comics. Uh, it says, please do not overwind mechanisms. And they were very serious about that. Uh, there is a stoppage point if you went all the way around. Now, the superpowers figures, you could kind of make their arms go around, but the Toy Biz uh, figures had a stopping point, and if you went too far past, you could snap the... Uh, mechanism off and I had a cousin that had this actual Robin that did in fact uh, bust the arm right off so I learned early on do not do that now this like I said this was a gift from ODC and I had bought this way back when in 89 and I always thought this would be kind of a cool figure to go back and get and maybe get it carded along with you know the Kenner superpowers so he sent this to me for my birthday I didn't even realize he was doing it so um, I do have a small little wall of carded action figures, and he's going to go right on it. For the sake of the review, I will go back into my little toy box, and I will pull out this guy, and we'll get a better look at the 89 uh, DC Superpowers Robin, Jason Todd. We'll be right back. All right, here is uh, my Robin that I have, and I have Anthony's right off to the side. Now, I do have an action figure accessory little baggie that I've kept over the years, and I was trying to dig through and find uh, the Batarang, which I know I have his and Batman's Batarang both, but I've currently misplaced it or I'm not in the right box. So just for the sake of me not wasting more time trying to uh, film this segment, I'm going to go on without it. I will hold it up real quick so you can kind of see uh, there's the Batarang there. Now, uh, you can run the grapple uh, and tie a, a little knot in the back of it. There's one on the grapple here, but you can kind of see there's a hole in there that you could feed the rope through so you could have Robin hold to one end and the grapple be on the other or vice versa or something like that to kind of get a little bit more extra mileage uh, out of it. And like I said, um, I believe I have uh, completely lost the grapnel. If I do have it, I'll be completely surprised, but I do know I have both batarangs. So let's take a look at the actual figure themselves. Again, this is uh, Toy Biz 1989. So 
Uh, things are going to look a little funny here. But uh, the head almost looks like it's too small for his body. Um, or maybe it's just the way the cape is kind of setting here. So you can kind of tell that this is a superpowers uh, knockoff to uh, some degree. Again, this is uh, Toy Biz just getting a hold of a licensing and getting the molds from Kenner and having to make little changes or sculpt them the best they can to look like the Kenner figures. I believe it's probably actually what it is. You can see the metal pins here uh, in his knee, which Kenner did not use. They uh, used more of a, a little plastic pin there. Um, things just look really cheap and really chintzy. But again, this was kind of the way things were back in 89. You can kind of almost see through the uh, cape there. Little pixie boots on Robin. Uh, the articulation on this guy, mine's really, really stiff. So the head does go around full 360. This arm only goes all the way around. And it kind of gets hit in the back of his butt here. Uh, legs go forward. So there was the Kenner. A uh, Batmobile that you could uh, have the figures ride in and a Hall of Justice playset. So he does bend at the knee so you can get him to sit at the conference table in the Hall of Justice, which was uh, really kind of cool, and the other vehicles that would have come out. So they did make them back in the day to be able to sit in vehicles. Uh, the special feature is the karate chop and the back part of him. Uh, this is how uh, Toy Biz did all of their features on the figures. Probably due to patent and licensing, the superpowers you could squeeze, and that's where the action feature was. Or maybe it was in the arms, or uh, maybe you squeeze the arms and the waist swung back and forth. But Toy Biz had to do something a little different, so you have this karate chop action here. So, again, it's the same. Now, mine, there it goes. It's more of a got to push it in. So, uh, you can't go back any farther than this point right here um, to make it go down. So very, very cool. Um, so thank you, Anthony, for this guy. He's going to go on my wall. Uh, what I'd like to do is bring up the Kenner version, and we'll take a look at both of them and kind of see which one is the better version. I think we know which one's going to be the better version. And here we go. Uh, obviously, the Kenner is on the right-hand side here, and his colors look a little bit more. Uh, granted, uh, this Robin for me is circa 1980. Oh, good golly, I haven't, uh, didn't do my math before the uh, review here. I want to say 84, 85, uh, right around that time frame. Could be as early as 83, but I want to say it's more, uh, it could be 80, it could be 86. So somewhere in that time frame, I'll, I'll find out and there'll be a little line probably running right along here somewhere that says, uh, Da Rob, uh, Kenner Superpowers is blah, blah, blah. But I think you can tell just in... Just even how they're uh, made and sculpted. Now, uh, the Kenner's Superpowers Robin does have a little bit thicker and wider of a chest. Where the Toy Biz, I do like that they kind of sculpted the torso in just a little bit more to show a little bit more definition. But if you got to pick one over the other, I think you're definitely going to go with this one. But this was this was nice to get. Um, when the 89 movie was coming out, there wasn't a Robin in the 89 Batman movie. So to just have this... Uh, to stand next to the 89 Michael Keaton Batman was kind of cool. Now, you see the pins uh, here in the Toy Biz. Uh, there isn't anything in the Kenner. Uh, they hid those very, very well, which they are probably, obviously, right here. But they sculpted that over. So you got you could hide all the bending and everything like that from the Kenner superpowers. Um, now, this Robin, unfortunately, has seen better days as far as his action accessory. So the karate chop does not work hardly at all. You can see it move very slightly there. But, you know, back in the day, you could kind of unwind this too. There we go. I mean, he could really get him going, you know, uh, crazy. Uh, the cape, I always loved too. There was this little extra fold, which uh, this one does have. But uh, the yellow, I think, is just a little bit better. So I always kind of liked to drape the cape over. Uh, but Toy Biz does have it too, but the cape material uh, just uh, wasn't as good. It was really kind of flimsy and really see-through. So, I mean, yes, you could drape it over, but it starts to get a little, you know, see-through. I mean, you could see Robin clearly right through this cape, where the other one you don't see too much at all. Again, for a figure that's probably 
1984, 85 to 86 here. Um, let's get them back up where you can see them. And uh, even the heads here, too. Now, my Robin started to lose uh, the paint off his hair, so I took a black Sharpie uh, way back when and colored it in. And you can hardly kind of tell. There's just a few little spots that I had to kind of go over uh, to get him there. Uh, the masks look a little bit better, although it looks like he's a little bit more chubbier in the face. I think his face is the right size for the body, but he looks a little too chubby. Uh, the face proportion is about right, but the size of the head is a little too small. So I wanted to be able to uh, show you that as well. If I can get him to stand. Come on. Going to work with me? There we go. So, there are the two figures side by side. Uh, final thoughts on this guy. Uh, it's very cool to have, and it's cool that I now have one uh, from Anthony that's uh, mint on card. Uh, the, yeah, there's... I should say mental card. There's a little bit of imperfections in the card here, but I'm more just wanting to have it for the artwork and uh, the aesthetics of having uh, him in the box. But not trying to judge him on today's standards of action figures. Um, this is kind of what it was back in the 80s and early 90s before we started getting into the 6-inch action figures. Uh, this is kind of what we had, and I, I cherished these figures very much growing up, uh, especially in the early 80s. Uh, with the Kenner superpowers, this was kind of like my first set of uh, action figures outside of Star Wars and some G.I. Joe stuff where I actually had superheroes to play with rather than cheap little uh, rubber action figures of uh, superheroes. You didn't get a lot of Batman and Robin action figures uh, up before this time. So once the 89 film really started to take off. Then we started getting into the animated series and we get into Batman Returns and Forever. So the my Robin collecting started to get more and more uh, as I got older. And this was uh, one of the first early steps into where we are currently. So today we've been taking a look at the 1989 DC Comics Superheroes Robin with Karate Chop Action from Toy Biz. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogue, celebrating 75 years of Robin the Boy Wonder in the month of April. And we will see you guys next time.